Okay, come on in. What? It's so nice. When you just want to make over your guest room, but it's filled with robots. You got really close. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. Oh. Thank you, evidence paper. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this needs a boost. <laughs> this is more for me than for you. Got me too, baby. <laughs> hey guys, we're Evan and Kaylin, and today we're going to be giving our guest bedroom a makeover. We've kind of been giving it little makeovers here and there for the past five or six years, but you know, it's just like the problem child of the house. <laughs> Big thanks to Lowe's for sponsoring this video. And uh, it all started by throwing all of our hand-me-down furniture in there, which, you I know. I think that's pretty common. It's pretty common, but. Everyone neglects the guest room. <laughs> it started to fail us when we started manufacturing products to sell in our own store, which we did a while ago. And in order to scale it up, we went with 3D printers, everywhere. We had an entire robot army, which <laughs> lived in the guest room, still does. We tried to consolidate it using a 3D printer cart, which worked for a while. And then we were like, let's take this a step further. Let's build a Murphy bed to add even more room to our guest room. So we did that, added more space. But this is the room where everything just comes and gathers. It's just like, kind of the junk room. <laughs> so before we go into what we're gonna be doing in this project, let's show you what it looks like right now. So here are the issues we're dealing with. One, the robots have gotten even more out of control and spread beyond the 3D printer cart. And we don't really need this many robots anymore. We also have this big fold-out plastic table. It just always ends up getting covered with junk. <laughs> Evan is constantly hitting his head on the fan. <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> it's literally a hazard. Aside from the Murphy bed, which is the one thing we have put effort into, everything feels kind of bland. And lastly, clutter just attracts clutter. So this has fully become the junk room. It's got a lot of junk in its yes. trunk. So here's how we're gonna fix this room. We still use a lot of these 3D printers and this is still kind of the best pot for them, but we're gonna give some robots away to a local makerspace and consolidate their accessories into baskets on the cart. We'll also replace the big fold-out table with a nice small wood desk that we're gonna DIY. A custom one that fits the space a little bit better. This will allow us to occasionally work in there when needed and it gives our guests somewhere to set their things. We're going to replace the fan with a flush mount light that can clear Evan's head and the Murphy bed. We'll add updated decor like curtains, a plant, a mirror for our guests to get ready with, and a chair for them to sit in, and anything else we happen to find. I have a theory that if we make this room prettier and put a little bit more love into it, we'll be less likely to just fill it with junk again. Last, we'll reduce clutter by storing items we don't need year round up in our attic storage. Okay, Caitlin, where do we start? The three-part method that we have used in past projects. Ooh! The poo method. <laughs> Purge, because you can't fix a room when it's filled with so much stuff, so we're just gonna get it all out of here. Next, we optimize the room and kind of get it how we want it. Then we bring back in the things that we are gonna keep in here and organize them. And lastly, we shall decorate. So it's more like the pooed method instead of the poo method. It's the, it's the pooed, the past tense pooed method. All right, let's get purging. Let's get pooding, I mean. <laughs> Let's go. That's just, it's just so many random things. We have like a turkey baster. That, that, that's for the 3D printer. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. Yeah, the only downside is when we purge something from another room and then it gets stuck wherever we do it, like that table, which we purged from our garage. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> the supervisor is helping us purge. Yes. Purge. I don't know them. Purge. Purge. The supervisor art. Ah, that's so cool. ah, 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 You got it, ah. you got it. I want to put this up somewhere. Oh. I think the hard thing is we make things at such a speed, we don't always have time to like figure out where is the best place to put them or finish that last finishing touch, like making feet. <laughs> You're doing stuff like that. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. <laughs> Come on, over here. <laughs> All right, I think just the table and then we're good on that side. Yeah. Now on this side, we have Evan's rolling box of shame, which is just like all the stuff I don't want to deal with. 
And then we have Caitlin's box of organizing this is boxes. My, this is my box of pride, not of shame. Look at all of these things I can use to organize all the things I need to organize. I got bins, I got bags, I got boxes and bins in my bags. So all the rest of this is stuff we've just been collecting and getting ready to move into the attic. Just it's been really hot. It's been really hot. In. Some of the stuff we're keeping for practical reasons, and some just for mainly sentimental reasons. This is our wedding backdrop that we DIY'd before we had the channel. It's on a very old blog post somewhere. We <laughs> made it. Yeah, there'll be a I picture still, right here. I still somewhere. love this. Part of me wants to just like hang it in the house. <laughs> just like as art? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you could put it like behind your bed or like over your window in place of curtains. I don't know. <laughs> don't get my butt. At least I don't have a hole in my pants this time. <laughs> I'll just get your stylish socks. Yeah, I got fuzzy socks! The only sock that Caitlin now wears. Coming in handy. I know. Oh my gosh, I do not miss this heat though. I know, it's still hot up here. But our storage is awesome. How many times can we thank Lowe's in this video? <laughs> <sighs> Still here. hot. Here you go. <laughs> 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 it's looking pretty good. I feel like we can move around in here and finally have a blank slate to work with. Yeah, this looks great. Now, <laughs> the other side of the coin. <laughs> is that this is our living room. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. It, always, it always gets worse before it gets better. Yeah, but I'll start dealing with this while Caitlin gets her edit on. Yes. Good luck. <laughs> Just hit the windshield with the mic. We are on our way to Lowe's. We're gonna pick up stuff to make our desk today. This is gonna be like a nice, easy desk. Yes. Yeah. And we'll get some decor and stuff too. So it's gonna be fun. All right, to get a jump start on the table, oh, we're just gonna use this butcher block. And it's it's like pretty much done. We just need to add legs. Cheat code entered. Yeah. And we're gonna make some simple legs using poplar. Fancy. It even has a USB. Oh no, no. Oh no, no. Okay, so since the top already came finished, all we have to do is apply some finish to it. It's time to work on the legs, which should be pretty easy. Ready. I'll apply the glue and you can spread it. Oh yes. So our legs are basically two little open squares that we're gluing up and then we're gonna add a stretcher, which should keep it all sturdy. All right, so you, you place it and I'll screw it. Are we having like a ghost moment? I don't know what, what music plays during that scene. Na, 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 na. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Sweet. Yeah. I mean, we on can- On one side, on one side. We'll, we'll, we'll sand it the we'll rest of the way. We'll sand it down. <laughs> We're dying at ebony. Nothing's gonna show up. No one's gonna be able to see our mistakes. Giving it the clamp. One, one more. down. Yeah, there's a little bit of twist, but we're- we're persuading it. <laughs> okay, right. one more glue up, and that is our stretcher. We wanna make it the same thickness as these, so we're gonna glue this up into one thick guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then check it out. Silicone spreader. Oh, fancy. Fancy. It's like mayo dip. It's like more liquidy than mayonnaise, but thicker than milk. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. Uh, that's probably good. Good, because we're almost out. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't need these anymore. <laughs> we haven't used poplar in a while, because it's kind of like, it has like a greenish tint, but it's cheaper than oak and it's decent hardwood. It's a decent hardwood. Yeah. I'm not sure why it's not more poplar. <laughs> All right, ready to assemble? Yes. Okay, so we will see you guys next when these are dried. Next up was sanding, cutting down our stretcher, and assembling the leg assembly. Nice! Yeah. 
Smells good. Do it back first. You do it back that way, you're savage. For the stretcher, we just Googled where to place it. Looking at a bunch of images really helps when you're trying to design your own furniture. <laughs> so glues drag, clamps are off. Instead of gluing this down or just screwing it or something, we're gonna be fancy and we got these threaded inserts that we're gonna add to the countertop that we can just screw these fasteners to. Cause that way in the future, if we decide we wanna change what this is, cause this butcher block is really nice. We can just remove the legs mm. or change I mean, them or whatever. We've changed this guest room so many times. So we don't necessarily <laughs> trust this latest makeover to stick for years and years. And then we're going to stain and finish it. And then we are done. It's like, <laughs> is this a guest room makeover or a desk building video? <laughs> All right. It is 12.30 in the morning, and it is time to finish our things. Yes. <laughs> okay, we had to set up a divider so I don't get stain on this piece, and Evan doesn't get finished on this piece. Okay, you bread? Yeah, I'm bread. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, we're about to apply the like really, really dark finish for the first time. I hope we like it. There's no going back. I mean, theoretically, we could like sand it all off, but- But that's not gonna happen. No. <laughs> that is dark. And we went with a, a dark stain instead of just a paint because you still can kind of see the wood grain through it and we thought that that would look nicer. Where are you going to start? Just right in the middle? <laughs> yep. It's not that much of a difference, but it does release like a little bit of the shiny. I did not realize how late it was until I looked at my clock to like say what time it was. I was thinking it was going to be like, oh, it's just 11 <laughs> yeah, or 11.30. Okay. Forget how liquidy stain is. It's so liquidy. It's so liquidy. Ah, ha, ha. You got more on you? Yes. But first I thought that was like a victorious, like, aha, ha, 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 ha. No, no, I'm just getting covered in stain. <laughs> oh my gosh, your hand. <laughs> you should probably just go ahead and put on a glove now, even though it's already stained. It's just gonna get worse. <laughs> what are you doing? Experimenting. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how much better this is, but I feel I feel good. <laughs> feel accomplished. Zoop, zoop. Looks like you got the pox, baby. Oh my god! You have so much. <laughs> yeah, I didn't escape unscathed though. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving these lines here though. I think once we once we put the finish on top of it. Ooh. 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 Okay, so just wipe off some areas. It's pretty soaked in. Oh yeah, it doesn't change much. Yeah, That's good. Yay. Maybe we're done. <laughs> oh, that looks so nice. Look at how you see the grain through. Does that yeah. pick up on camera? Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, hi. I'm hungry. Hello. Good morning. So while our stain continues to dry, we are actually taking our 3D printers to a local makerspace called Maker Barn. Yeah, and for those of you who don't know what makerspaces are, they're basically like a collection of people that come together to share tools and resources yeah. in a central place because not everyone has a workshop or all the tools to make stuff. So places like this exist and they're really cool. Yeah, so we're glad to be giving them to a good home. Yes. Okay, okay, go. Hi! <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> I've got the muscle. Thanks for uh, donating this. This is stupid. Really? Perfect. Who's, who are these people? I don't know. <laughs> Vandals, pretty much. <laughs> and it comes with a free googly eye, too. <laughs> did Kayla already make that joke? Right. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> Thank you, Evan and Kayla. Of course. Well, like Thank you. I'm, I'm nice. glad that Yay. we can give these a good home. All right, so we're back and it is time to replace this fan because our Lowe's order has arrived. I am excited. Me too. I believe this is the switch. Yep. I think let's just take it off all at once. Okay, it's pretty tiny. Been a while since we replaced a fan. Oh my gosh. There's just so many wires. There's just so many wires. So this might or might not undo the whole thing. Okay. So. Want me to spot you? 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I should take out the light bulbs. The light bulbs are the nicest part about this fan. All right, now when I lift this next thing out, it's gonna fall down. It's gonna fall down? No, not fall down. It's gonna be loose. You don't, you don't mind if that shirt gets a little bit dusty, do you? Cool. Ugh. Yay! I like the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> well, that's not good. What? This side must be stripped. I was able to just like push it all the way in. My gosh, that's scary. It was really only hanging on one that whole time. That's scary. Wow. <laughs> now let's not drop the glass. I know. Here, can you actually hold it again? I don't feel like I have a good grip. Nice. I can walk underneath it. You ready to turn it on? Yay! Nice! Oh, that looks good. That, that looks, looks good. so much better. It just feels so much more open in here without that fan looming. Yeah, look at that. That's high five I underneath thought, it. I thought you were gonna punch it. I, I think now it's all up to you. You can make everything in here pretty now. Thank you. <laughs> So since we always do projects together, we never really get to have like a reveal. So I thought it'd be fun to do this last bit of the makeover today so that I can surprise Evan. Hello? Do I have a helper? Hi! You got help? I fit. Good job. Thank you. Oh, looks so good. Stain is dry. Gonna add some finish. Oh. Okay, come on in. What? It's so nice. Oh, wow. Right? I can't believe how much those little changes helped. This looks, I just want to pull up and just sit here. Oh my, wow, this is so nice. <laughs> oh yes. yes. <laughs> don't, no, no, don't draw on the desk. <laughs> wow, the curtains look so much better. Right, isn't it so nice? Like they're so, so much more light and airy and makes, like they bring in a little pattern. Makes me realize like, I thought like, okay, our home is getting pretty good done. It's getting pretty nice. It made me realize that we just need to keep on adding more curtains, adding more plants, adding more tiny little pots. Curtains, plants, pots. Evan's recipe. I, I think one interesting thing- You did an thing, awesome job. Thank you. I think one interesting thing is like, you know, on HGTV, they're not gonna be dealing with rooms that also have an army of robots. But this is real life, and we need to keep our army of robots. But like, I, I feel like we did a good job of making it look nice, like it's a huge update, but we're still keeping it functional too for what <laughs> we personally need. Yeah, and I love that chair and desk combo. Right, isn't that My so gosh. nice? And also this, this chair isn't just like gonna be used there. When we don't have guests over, then we're gonna have the chair here so that we can like sit here and use it as a workstation while things print. And when we pull the Murphy bed down, even though it does, actually, I mean, we could technically keep it, it does fit. Um, but if needed, we can move the desk into the living room. Or move the chair. Sorry, move the chair into the living room so that we have extra seating when we have people over. So it kind of works out. Well, thank you guys so much for following along with the journey of this room, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Juby's like, I want in that basket. <laughs> Release me. Don't, don't look, close can't. your eyes. Close your eyes fully, Close actually. my eyes, okay. Yeah. Close your eyes fully, 
because I want to react live and I want you to react live. So I, I haven't like fully prepped everything yet. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Look, 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 look in the general direction of over here and open your eyes. Three, two, one, open. Three, two, one, open. What? Do you recognize this? Maybe look at this this fountain <gasps> right here. Nightmare Before Christmas? What the crap? What the crap? <laughs> look at this zombie oh my chicken. Look gosh. at the green lake. Look. Oh my freaking god! This is what I've been working on every night. I've been building this village. You didn't from build memory. No, you didn't. 